In this video we're looking at different types of trading styles and which one is more profitable than the others and most importantly which one should you be using based on the time that you have at your disposal first off we want to start off with scalping so when you're scalping you're basically taking advantage of buying and selling the security in this case selling futures contracts as you know that we're trading on perpetual futures contracts but even if you're trading other assets such as stocks and forex and also cryptocurrencies as you guys know that's what we're currently trading here but we'll be diving into more commodities later in the future when you're scalping you're basically just taking you know advantage of that price movement in a very very short period of time so this can be maybe in the next 10 minutes in the next 20 minutes 30 minutes for example but when you start to go into you know holding trades for 30 minutes maybe that's when you actually falling into day trading here so that's what we're going to be looking at in this video the different types of trading styles and which one is more profitable and also which one should you be using so basically that's what scalping is you're just taking advantage of the price movement in most cases in a very very lower time frame i can also show you here a live trade as you can see here i'm buying a futures contract and i'm actually trading this on about one minute time frame so basically every candle within this chart represents one minute as you can see now we've got our trade active and what we're predicting is that the market is going to move high with high momentum but obviously anything can happen on the market but that's what we're predicting here in a very short period of time obviously like i said everything here is on a one minute time frame so let's actually look at what is scalping in real life and you can see here we've got a 99 ema and we can use this ema as sort of like our take profit target because in most cases the price will come bounce off on the 99 emas or even trade above it a little bit so that's what we gonna be using here so that's why we're taking profit at these levels here from there we can just see how the market moves as the market is actually moving towards our take profit there which is their target so that's what we're talking about when we're actually scalping we're focusing in a very short period of time on the market obviously you can still do this even though you're trading on a five minute time frame or even 10 minutes 20 minutes it doesn't really matter but obviously the smaller the time frame the better the data that is presented to you then you can make informed decisions based on the data that you see before you so now you can see that the market is pushing beyond the 99 emates and now the 99 emates is sort of like the support and obviously i'm predicting that the market is going to go higher to take our profit on top so that's what is scalping and you can see every candle here represents one minute on the chart so as you can see now the market is moving up to hit our take profit and that's the most important thing when you're trading you need to be hitting those take profits as often as possible than hitting your stop losses but obviously this type of trading requires you to always be on the chart and understand the current sentiment of the market within that specific period and that may not you know apply for those of you who have your nine to five job for example which then leads us to our next topic here which is day trading when you're actually day trading you're buying and selling the assets within that day so maybe you may buy the futures contract maybe one hour later and sell it so in most cases when i'm day trading i'm actually trading on support and resistance or using different types of you know strategies as i've been showing you guys in this channel and what i'm going to do when i'm day trading i will trade and then place my trade mostly when i'm trading support and resistance i'll probably just make a video on support and resistance uh, alone because it's a very very important video for you guys to know especially if you're getting started in the world of trading but when i'm day trading here i'll actually place my short position depending on whether i'm going long or going short so once you have your trade trade activated as you can see here now your trade is actually on profits in most cases you can treat your day trading as swing trading um, obviously depending on the sentiment of the market sometimes you know you that you actually got a very very good entry and you don't want to close that trade immediately so what i do in that case as you can see here i've got a trade that is on profit and what i'm going to do here is you can see that i have a stop loss which is just below my enterprise which means that whenever the market is coming to touch this point here that's when my stop loss is going to be activated however i'm going to be closing this trade on a profit so i'm making money so once you have a scenario like this you've got a guaranteed way of making money when you're trading on the futures market but you also want to make sure that you don't you know put this stop loss so quickly because in most cases the market will actually come and retest your entry point 
before actually taking the direction that you had initially predicted so for that reason you want to wait maybe a couple of hours for you to actually do this strategy but i will make a dedicated video also on this so make sure that you subscribe and turn on all post notifications but as you can see here we've got our enterprise and we have our stop loss below our enterprise which means we've got a guaranteed profit on this trade so we can now treat this trade as a swing trade because now we know for sure that we will not lose money on this trade which is very important when you're trading you want to be closing your trade in profit in most cases that really boosts your level of confidence as a trader as well and it actually makes you very very comfortable on the market so that's how i actually do my day trading in most cases i'll just day trade on a support or resistance with you know a strategy that i'm gonna wait for the markets to move in my favor then i'll put my stop loss just um, at break even or at a little bit of a profit and then put my target price at a specific defined price on the market depending also on the sentiment this doesn't work all the time like i said you need to allow the markets to breathe so you don't have to put the stop loss immediately otherwise it's just gonna go and touch it almost all the time and you're actually gonna lose out on that potential profit as you would have been better off by closing the trade on that profit whether it's two percent or three percent or four percent or five percent because like i said the markets fluctuate up and down all the time so it will most likely come and touch these levels all right now let's go ahead and talk about swing trading now swing trading for me is probably the most profitable uh, style of trading because this is where you actually holding you know trades for a period of longer than a day maybe a week even a month depending on what asset you're trading and what's the sentiment of that market you will recall that here we're trading perpetual futures contract which means these are contracts that do not expire which means we can hold this position for as long as possible for example if you caught the bottom in bitcoin and then bitcoin start rising that's when you can hold the position for a period of longer than a year for example obviously there are trading fees for holding that contract but the profit of holding that contract will outweigh the fees that you're actually paying on those contracts so swing trading is when you're holding a trade for a period of more than a day maybe a week it really depends on when you actually caught that trade so this is my most profitable style of trading and it's actually less stressful as well because you're holding trades for a period of what, a day or two days which means you have to go to bed there's a saying that once you actually trade and have the ability to go to bed without you know worrying about your trade that's when you know that you're a good trader and at this stage you probably have a good trading psychology as well so swing trading is where the money is for me and you'll recall that in our previous video we spoke about some trading strategies that you can actually use whenever you're trading the futures markets on that video i showed you guys that when this two ema cross here the markets take a very very good 10. now i took this trade as you can see here this is about two percent but i closed it immediately after that because of this support and resistance over here and over here you can see that this strategy works so this is also a strategy that you can apply whenever you're doing swing trading because if you caught the top here this is ADOA by the way you can see the market is moving by six percent and this is within the probably the last three days or so so you could be holding this trade for you know for a period of a day or even a week but obviously now there's a cpi data coming out on the 12th of december so that's going to be in four days and maybe that's when you want to be out of the markets because the markets tend to be then volatile but other strategies that you can actually use whenever you're trading futures markets is going to be chart patterns if you recall that in class eight we already covered chart patterns not only that on our discord there's a digital book which is an ebook that you can download directly from our discord and learn how to trade using chart patterns so using chart patterns especially on a one hour four hour time frame even a daily time frame tend to be the most profitable way of swing trading for me because that's when you actually get the most moves on the market so you're not just scalping or taking advantage of a very small price movement however you actually waiting and taking advantage as the market is dropping and that's when you actually get to you know profit as you can see here we actually have a move that is about six to seven percent drop again if you're trading this with 10x leverage you have made 70 percent of your initial margin which is really really good so 
if you're new to futures trading just know that we have a digital course that you can get here on youtube which is absolutely for free and if you want to be part of our discord just make sure that you sign up using one of our brokers to trade with then you can use your uid to get into our discord server which is absolutely free on our discord server we share trading signals and also trading ideas airdrop and all the good stuff that you want as a cryptocurrency trader so while you use the link in the description of this video it actually gives you up to thirty thousand dollars the biggest bonuses in this crypto space thirty thousand dollars in welcome bonuses whenever you're trading with bybit find the link in the description of this video i hope that you found this video very very helpful if it was make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also i'll really appreciate it if you can subscribe to this channel and also leave a comment on the comment section below we just reached ten thousand subscribers here on youtube it is really really crazy so be part of our community here on youtube as we grow by sharing these trading ideas that you can start applying immediately on your trading strategies and start making money trading the futures market 